Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Rise of Flight. Where, if you, can, if you can't already tell by listening, I have managed to mod the Red Baron 3D music into the into Battleson's campaign generator, which I think is awesome. <laughs> so, uh, most of you will have never heard it before, if you haven't played Red Baron 3D, but some of you may remember it from a stream um, I did a couple of years ago, possibly, maybe a year ago. Yeah, I did a Rise of Flight stream and we put this music on because I thought it was hilarious. So yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. Here we are at number 56 Squadron. We've been out of action for a while. Um, if I have a look at the Squadron log. Let's see. 8th May, blah blah blah. It's quite odd really. We're now catching up in, in, in real date to where we were earlier. Although we think we've skipped ahead to June now. Journal? Here we go, yeah. On the 8th of May, Sir David Crumpington III was horribly injured while attacking a um, a, a Roland. It says Albatross D3 on here because the mission report thingy messed up a bit, but it was actually a Roland we shot down, even though it credited us with a D3. Um, we attacked it from the belly, along with um, Aubrey Young. Bertie got shot down and killed, unfortunately, but Aubrey stuck with us and we made alternating attacks on the Roland, if you remember, and unfortunately I got injured by a barrage of anti-aircraft machine gun fire because the Roland was, unbeknownst to me, dragging us lower and lower and lower to the ground, um, which is very sneaky of him, so fair play to him. He went down anyway because we killed his engine but we weren't able to ensure that the crew didn't survive and pass on the information and stuff they'd gathered from their whatever it was they were doing, probably photo reconnaissance or something. So yeah, that was a bit of a shame, but we were injured and then out of action for quite some time. It's now the 6th of June, 1917, so we've skipped ahead about a month. And in our absence, um, things have been getting interesting. Apparently Reginald Hoyge here, by the way, is a real pilot, even though he has just one of the default non-real pilot um, pictures. But yeah, he was a real pilot, which would explain why he has eight victories. Um, by Jingo, he's beating even me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Arthur Reese Davis has got six kills as well, so he's neck and neck with me. We need to up our game, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to go to the advanced config. This this music is so fucking awesome, I love it. <laughs> um, mission spacing. It's not that one. I'm trying to change the one which changes the number of missions that get recorded for each flight you actually do in the game. Um, sadly, I'm, I'm sort of not finding it. Ah, here we go. Number of missions credited. Let's put that to three. So every mission we fly in the game, we'll get three put up on the board here to represent for every mission we did actually make contact with the enemy, there are two where we didn't. As it would probably be the case in real life, really. Previously, I didn't do this just because I wanted a record of how many missions I'd actually done, but I can get that through the squadron log and the journal and things, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I can still figure that stuff out, so in the interest of you know, making our score look, our tally look a little bit more reasonable compared to everyone else's. I'm going to do that from now on, um, so that we can get a general idea of if if Sir David Crumpington was a real pilot in the RFC, how long he would have actually lasted. Um, it'll make the dates go by quicker as well. Um, I, th I believe. I don't know actually. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But anyway, yeah, it'll, it might make the days go by quicker, which means that we'll move forward through the year a bit faster too, which is all right. Um, because that'll mean that we, we can then move on a bit, we might get injured, then be out of action, then we can maybe go and leave, and then, you know, it might mean that we can actually finish at least 1917, or if not that, then maybe finish the entire war, um, within the scope of this Let's Play, which would be interesting. Um, it'd probably change my flying style quite a bit if I actually saw hope of us actually surviving to the end of the war, which would be pretty neat, but I doubt it'll happen, so... It's only a matter of time until some monumental cock-up gets me killed, so... 
Anyway, without further ado, let's bally well get on with this, shall we? Uh, mission... Give it a minute, there we go. Right. And the music will change now, because it's on the mission screen. But anyway, um, what do we got then? Patrol airspace, it's defensive patrol then. They've assigned the Major, wow. Conway Vaudry himself, Lieutenant Daniel Arden, and 2nd Lieutenant Sir David Crumpington, me, and Hamlin Dennis. Alright, that seems fair enough. Um... What I really want is for us to get promoted to Lieutenant, so that we can lead flights of second Lieutenants around and actually tell them what to do. Um, because the AI gets a lot better if you could actually tell it what it should be doing, instead of having to follow it around everywhere. Really, theoretically, what I probably should have done is started off at at least Lieutenant, or maybe Captain. Um, that probably would have been a better idea for the purposes of the Let's Play, but I didn't think of it at the time, so... Alright then, that looks good to me. Wind speed is two miles an hour, that's fine. Yeah, cool. Alright then, accept mission. And I will see you guys in the game. Okay, chaps, here we are. There she is, good old maybe. We haven't seen her in over a month. And the mission is as follows. This way, then this way, then this way, and then back again. The mission will more than likely not actually go like that. And apparently there's a balloon over there. Or not. What? Why is, why is my takeoff waypoint over there on the German side of the lines? Uh, whatever. We'll just put it down to Pat Wilson's campaign generator being weird as usual. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't mean my guys will try and taxi off across the <laughs> across the trenches to get to there before taking off. Oh dear, that would be bad. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Milk mixture to full. Engine on. Mixture down. To about there will do. Why is it being so laggy? Right, I think it's just like that when you load in, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if I can give the RPMs just right. I'm looking at the meter at the top right here, this thing. While I fine tune my fuel mixture to try and get the RPMs as high as possible. Which seems like about there, does it? Right. Oh, off we go. Okay. That's Vaudry, then that's Daniel, and now me. Oh boy. Oh boy, I haven't played this in over a week. This could be tricky. Up go the horizontal stabilizers. There we go, right, okay. <laughs> Just bloody reaching for the, 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 the landing gear key again. Dave, you fool. What century do you think this is? Alright then, well, I guess we're up. Up and away. Us magnificent men in our flying machines. Going up, diddly up, up, and down, diddly down, down. I will return, viewers, when some sort of development has occurred. In the meantime, I'll just be enjoying the view, I suppose. We do appear to have found the Huns, ladies and gentlemen. There they are. Flight of Albatry, heading straight for us. They kind of came out of nowhere that lot, actually. I just I turned around and bam, there they were. Um, so, yeah, oh dear. Let's get some distance. I'm feeling very cautious this week, ladies and gentlemen, especially after getting wounded horribly last week. Flax bursting everywhere. That's good to see, at least. We got that fixed. Oh dear, it looks like a dreadful mess. Yes, like I said, I'm feeling cautious, which is why I'm hanging around out here at the edges a bit. Maybe we can get some shots into this gent. 
Oh, my gun in jams instantly at the first press of the trigger. God damn. Typical, really. Yeah, let's see if we can get this guy. And not ho Hopefully not get blown up by our own sodding flag. Stripy tails on these ones. Interesting. Right, good hits. He's leaking. We've yet to see if it does anything else. Um, where has everyone gone? Don't tell me they're all dead. I'm the only one... I'm the only SE5 left up here. What the fuck? Are they just... Oh. Uh. Oh, hello. These are friendlies. These are Newports. Excellent. Bloody marvellous. Right, well, sod the SE5. Sod my squadron. They seem to have disappeared. We've got a bunch of British Newports have arrived. Excellent. Awesome. That's freaking brilliant. Hello, chaps. They are British, aren't they? Yeah, they are. With their neat little silver paint jobs. Ha! Fantastic. Friendly squadron jumped in to lend a hand. We're a good deal faster than them, though. Might have scored some hits there, difficult to say. The game keeps stuttering at the minute, I don't like it. Steady there, fellas. Don't ram into each other. Huns would be dreadfully pleased if you did that. Alright, got his engine smoking or something. Oh, look at that, stripy tails with an X and a purple stripe over the wings. I wonder who that lot are then. The X might be an individual insignia actually, it might not be for the squadron. Come to think of it. Right, this guy seems to be injured or something. He's just not thinking straight, whoever he is. So let's take advantage of that fact. Ah, come on. I use the trim wheel. Is he getting away from me? How in the hell is that possible? Oh yeah, black stripes under the wings as well. He's running for it, but his friends are right in front of me, so I'm not going to pursue. Ugh, yeah, this is bloody Pat Wilson's AI again. Just completely ignoring the fact that there's a marauding SE5 taking pot shots at them and sort of sauntering on their merry way. They're even ignoring the new ports. Mind you, they can run away from new ports, so that does make at least a bit of sense. But they can't run away from me, so I don't know what the, thing, the hell they think they're playing at. Hopefully my squadron just disengaged rather than... Oh god. Um, rather than getting all shot down, because that would suck. What's the matter, hun? You don't feel like fighting today? You did a bloody minute ago and you're taking shots at my pals. Right, he's... Okay, now they're... they're well, at least one of them's manoeuvring. What about you? I don't think I've really got a confirmed kill for any of these guys, to be honest. Uh, 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 come on. Come on. Ah. Goddamn, out of Vickers ammo. Down to the Lewis. taking 303 size chunks out of him but it's not doing much is it stupid machine gun useless right, I've got to reload luckily this guy seems to be content to just stay in my sights oh I do hate this AI 
times like this I feel like I should have just gone with the vanilla and modded campaign rather than because this is just ridiculous this is silly what's also silly is that I've not hit something important yet Out of ammo for both my guns, wow, okay. <laughs> this wasn't much of a success, was it? So what's the deal with you then? Are you going down or not? I'd like to at least have something to show for this. Black dots over there, flak shooting at something. It's black flak, so it might be shooting at a friendly. Engine is dead. I'm going to claim that. Yes, sir, I am. The new ports can confirm that for me. And I'm going to get the hell out of here before I get over enemy territory and I got stuck getting shot at again by AAA gunners. Now I think about it. Yes, let's skedaddle. <laughs> Just realised how low I was getting. Yeah, who's that up there? Yeah, it's a new port. He, he, he will have seen that. Hopefully. The game will have to decide. Right, where are we? And where, do we, where are we going? That's what I need to know right now. Oh, I'm just stuff on the ground there, apparently. Oh, did we move base? I think we moved base, didn't we? I think we moved to a different airfield, guys, in which case I'm a little bit lost as to where the fuck we are. That's a problem. Alright, well, look, that's that down there is this mess over here of water. Um... So if we assume that Brazier over here, this airfield was the one we took off from, because that's the closest one to the waypoint, which is a bit buggy. We'll assume that's where we need to be. So that means north of this river thing down here. Somewhere there should be... Check our six. Um, should be an airfield somewhere down here. There. That. That's where we need to go. Right then. See what kind of speed we can get up to in this dive, huh? 150 odd miles an hour. Not bad. Speedy plane is this thing. I'll watch the RPMs though, can't go above 2,000. Yeehaw! Going to almost 155 miles an hour, that's impressive. For an old plane like this. I mean, it's practically stalling speed for modern planes, but, you know. Whee! Zoom! That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Can't do that in a sup with count, I'll tell you that much. <sighs> awesome, 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 right. Oh, look at that. Royal Aircraft Factory Farnborough. That's where this plane was made. Let's have a quick buzz of the airfield. 
our way here. Oh, now we're going seriously fast. Airspeed gauge was at the maximum. <laughs> I need to look up what the max speed is for this plane, actually. Max safe dive speed. Hello, traps. I'm back for lunch. Smoke me a kipper. <laughs> Yeah, here we are. I mean, assuming this is the one we took off from, it might not have been, to be honest. Um, but either way, we'll just land, and if it's not our home, then we'll ask for directions. Which is something that happened in time to time, uh, from time to time in real life. Uh, in World War One, pilots would just sort of land and ask local troops or whatever where the hell they were and where they were supposed to be going. Believe it or not. I mean, you had to. You didn't have a radio. You couldn't just radio base and say, help, I'm lost. You had to land somewhere and ask for directions like you were in a car or whatever. Alright then, enough clowning around. We need to slow down and not kill ourselves on landing. Okay, tricky, tricky, tricky. Right, okay. Here we go. Oh, 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 that was a close one. Whew. Should we go park in a hangar? Why not? Please let the collision physics allow me to do this. That would be a terrible way to end the let's play. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Okay then, so, mixture thinner out. Ignition off. Ta-da! We're home. Just in time for tea and medals. And hopefully promotion, because that would be really nice. Um, just saying. That would really, really be awesome. Um, there's, there's hanger in the way, but the, yeah, we're, we're, we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are home. Um, so yeah. Uh, and that mission, sadly, today, guys, is all I've got time for. Um, so I'm going to quit out of this now. And we'll get back to Pat Wilson's campaign generator. And then I'll see you all again next week. So, Okay, traps, we're back. And my screen region is slightly wrong. Oh, dear. You can see the edges of the window. Never mind. Ah, bollocks. Who cares? Um, combat report. Let's find out what happened. We will claim one victory, because that's the one we actually saw that definitely went down because he had a dead engine. Um, and that was a. Hmm. I'll go with a D5. Submit. Right, what happened there? We took off. Oh no, we were at Leo Villiers then. I guess I'm just a bit mixed up. It's the it's the bloody. Oh, no, 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 okay, no, we weren't, or we were, or... Uh. Yeah, no, little VAs is up here. We took off, yeah, we've moved south, basically. We've jumped south by one aerodrome. We've gone from little VA to Bayeux, so we did land at the right place, good. So, yeah, we took off, we flew over here, and that is... Right, this is about where I started recording again. Daniel Arden was destroyed. Hamlin Dennis was destroyed. We damaged an albatross. We destroyed, apparently he went down, wow. I did heavily damage a bunch of them, so they probably did go down, but I can only really claim the ones I saw, so... 
destroyed, damaged by us. D5A damaged. D5A damaged. D5A destroyed. Destroyed. And then we flew home. Yeah, so what will happen then? Lieutenant Daniel, Major Conway of Audrey, Lieutenant Daniel Arden, Hamlin Dennis, and me. Successes include the following A Down Albatross D3 shot down by moi. Pilots lost, where Hamlin Dennis killed in action and Daniel Arden killed in action. Well, that sucks. At least the Major wasn't killed, but uh, still pretty rubbish, that is, honestly. Oh well. That's what happens if you encounter Albatry on the same level as you and you charge headfirst into him, you'll die. Um, you need to get altitude and speed on him. It's simple, really. Oh well. You just got unlucky there, really. They got they got the speed advantage on us and the advantage of the position and stuff like that. It's just, uh, what can you do? Daniel Arden lost. Killed in action. Killed in action. Hamlin Dennis. He got the wound stripe, as did Daniel, posthumously. And we've been given Lieutenant Kurt Murden. And... Apparently Beery Bone's been transferred to us, but he already was, so... Game's being weird again. What have we actually got then? Elmer Cayley, the, he was the new one. Hello, Elmer. How you doing? Uh, no promotions for us or anything still. That sucks. But there we go. Look, that added a couple of missions up more. So we're now on 10 missions, 7 victories. And it's moved us forth, forward to the 9th of June as well. Instead of onto the 7th or whatever. Um, so, yeah. It's it's speeding the campaign up a bit. I might even up it to 4 missions per um, sortie. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, that's all I've got time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Because uh, I've got to get this... I'm recording this on Saturday, so I've got to get this uh, rendered and edited and uploaded um, tonight. So you guys can watch it tomorrow. So yeah, I will um, catch you next time then, basically. So, toodle pip, everybody! Well, see you in the skies, what? <laughs>